Hey, what's going on guys? This is No Filter and Nintendo Podcast, and here's my review for Super Blood Hockey for Nintendo Switch. Published by Digerati and developed by Lauren Lemke, this game is a retro-inspired hockey arcade game, and it is an absolute blast. Let's jump into it here. Now this game is going to be very similar to a lot of the older, kind of more basic retro and styled arcade sport games like NES hockey and that kind of a thing. It's very basic in that way, you know there's a shoot button, a pass button. So yeah, very basic, however, as the name suggests, Super Blood Hockey, this game is pretty crazy. You know, every hit you make, every shot that you end up hitting someone with, blood will splurt all over the ice. It is really hilarious how bad it can get at, at times. Um, you can turn up, uh, in some regular modes, you can turn up the amount of blood that happens and the amount of energy that goes in and the speed of the ice, and it, it can be one of the most crazy, intense arcade <laughs> uh, arcade sport games that you've would have played and uh, yeah it's just a lot of fun to play again it is pretty basic how it is so if you're playing just normally how it is for too long yeah you'll get bored it'll be a little bit repetitive just kind of like again kind of like the games that it's uh, uh, inspired by however it does uh, add some different modes and uh, multiplayer in there. Works really well on the Switch with a, a split Joy-Con. You don't need to have two, you know, joysticks to play the game or anything like that. And uh, yeah, just if you're if you're a hockey fan, you're gonna really love this. And one of the best parts about this game, personally, in my opinion, when I was playing it was when. I played the franchise mode, which is really cool. So the franchise mode is basically the story mode. Essentially, you are starting off uh, from square one, uh, you're playing for a different country, and you need to build up your team. However, the only people that are being recruited for the teams are convicts. (laughs) So uh, you're kind of starting the game, and uh, you have a certain amount of money, you're playing as the manager, you need to choose who is on your team. You need a minimum of the four players plus the goalie, and you have a certain amount of cap that you can use, certain amount of money you can uh, uh, use to, to purchase them, and each of them has their own kind of profile, their own crazy name. I played, obviously, for uh, Team Canada, so a lot of my players seem to have Canadian-based punny names, and I thought it was just hilarious, you know? like, And each one would have their own profile of how they uh, got to jail. Some of them would have been dancing too embarrassingly in public for too long. Some were uh, public public intoxication and nudity. Some were doing some stupid things like, you know, we're singing in public, so we're arrested and uh, sent to jail for 15 years or something like that. You know what I mean? Like some really hilarious, funny, crazy uh, backgrounds for some of these players. And I oddly got really attached to these players because in the game, like, you know, you have like your kind of your home base that has like the showers you can send your players to to increase their stats for uh, for healing each other or you can send them to do weights to increase their strength so they can hit better you can send them to like the treadmill so they can skate faster uh, you can send them you can give them certain pills or drugs to eat to improve them for a certain amount of time but also diminish a different aspect of their uh, stats and yeah like you build up with each each game you have to heal some that get hurt because this is super blood hockey they will get hurt and some of them will suffer um you know dislocated uh uh testicles or something like that and they will be uh, disabled or some of them might even get fatally killed (laughs) by like you know a uh um, dislodged eyeball and stuff like that it's really hilarious but the thing with that is if you lose them you can either have them in a hospital bed trying to heal them for a little while or they're literally dead and you have to get another player and you only have a certain amount of money to work with and it was a lot of different like actual strategy I had to use throughout the franchise mode and I absolutely loved it and not just because of that I kind of this might be kind of just my own playing of the game but I grew attached to some of these players because some of them were really good players and they had some really good stats Uh, some of them could really skate fast some of them were really fat Uh, you know there's different types of players playmakers speedy uh, snipers or um, uh, the enforcers and some of them would get hurt and then you'd be down a man and uh, you know the more you play the more uh, brain uh, damage they have and the more brain damage they have the more susceptible susceptible they are to uh, to injuries and there's a lot of (laughs) strategy in there and I grew really attached with these players you know like Adam Garberator was one of my best or uh, Daniel Syrup was one of the better uh, enforcers I had or uh, uh, Derek Hortons was also one of the better players and you know going through the franchise mode and going through playoffs you know Adam Garberator one of my best snipers throughout the whole um, uh, season gets 
fatally uh, or disabled he gets injured before the playoffs and i'm just thinking man our team's got to jump up to get you know stand together we got to face this and beat the beat the uh, the enemy teams in the playoffs and i just got really into it it made me think of like a sport movie you know where uh, you know the one of the star players gets hurt and the rest of the team has to rally around it and uh, win the playoffs and stuff like that and yeah it was just such a it was a lot of fun just playing through it and again i just love the humor and the character throughout the game and uh you know again like the gameplay i kind of wish they added a little bit more um you know depth to it but you know they do have different shots you can do uh as far as like uh the power that you can do that different plays from passing around the uh, the pucks and stuff like that but uh yeah if they added a little bit of that i'd say this is like almost a perfect game for me but uh because it's a little more basic on that you know i didn't want to play it for too too long i'd play through maybe three or four matches at a time but uh yeah no it uh it was really a lot of fun i still go back to it uh this to this day so yeah i, I would definitely suggest this game if you're into hockey this is uh I, in my opinion it's a must buy i had an absolute blast um mileage may vary again depending on who is playing but for me and how i played it i had an absolute blast and uh yeah just a really fun game so highly recommended from uh from wizrad uh, no filter no filter and nintendo podcast so hope you guys enjoyed this review and i will see you all next time